material. It is the duty of an inspector to check the material is in according to WPS. For example, 5 material is 106 grade B, flange material is A105 and other fitting materials is A234 WPB is mentioned on WPS. You can see an example in the highlighted area of the image. The welding inspector will make sure before welding the same material is being used or not. Also verified and identified the material for MTC. Material is free from contamination like grease, oil, paint because it can lead to pinhole frosty hydrogen cracking. Material dimensions should be according to drying. Although WPS or shop floor documents to instruct welder, welding inspector need to be familiar with them because they will refer to them when checking that welders are working within specified requirements. Welders need to be able to understand the WPS. Approved WPS should be available to welding inspector and welders before welding. Welding equipment. If you are performing welding tasks on a welding machine that is out of calibration, they can create an environment where the welder's errors are possible. So before beginning work on a new welding process, you should have your machine calibrated. Welding scar recommend that your welding machines be calibrated annually. It can help you to avoid making costly mistakes that could have been avoided. Well preparation. Well preparation dimension should match the WPS. In this image you can see the weld preparation dimension are mentioned in WPS. First of all we will discuss about cap height. It is mentioned 1.5 mm with tolerance of plus minus 1 mm. It means cap height should be 0.5 mm to 2.5 mm. Second dimension is bevel angle and according to this WPS bevel angle is 30 degree with tolerance of plus minus 5 degree. It means bevel angle should be between 25 to 35 degree. Third dimension is toe blending. In this image, toe blending is mentioned 1.5 mm with tolerance of plus minus 1 mm. It should be between 0.5 mm to 2.5 mm. Root gap. In this image, you can see the root gap dimension is mentioned 3.0 mm with tolerance of plus minus 1 mm. It means root gap should be between 2 mm to 4 mm. Last dimension is root phase. In this image, you can see root phase dimension is 1.5 mm with tolerance of plus minus 1 mm. It means root gap should be between 0.5 mm to 2.5 mm. Welder qualification. It is the duty of welding inspector to check either welder is qualified for the following joint to weld and welder certificates are valid and up to date. Joint fit up. Joint design should be according to WPS or drawing. Number or size of tack welds according to code or project specification. Welding consumable. Welding consumable to be used are as specified in WPS. If you are using low hydrogen electrode, then low hydrogen electrode should be controlled or stored as specified according to WPS. This image is a crop part of WPS and you can see two different types of electrodes are being used for this WPS. In root you will use E6010 for root pass and E7010 will use for the rest of the process. For example, if you are working according to this WPS, and before starting the welding, you should make sure welder use 6010 electrode for root part. Preheat should be as minimum as specified in accordance with WPS. In this image, you can see preheat temperature is 50 centigrade as specified if ambient temperature is less than 10 centigrade. For example, if you work according to the WPS, then you should maintain this temperature according to situation. Preheat temperature shall be checked by use of temperature indicating crayons, thermocouple pyrometers, or other suitable means to ensure that the temperature specified in the WPS is obtained prior to and to maintain during welding. The preheat zone shall be at or above the specified minimum temperature in all directions from the point of welding for a distance of 75 mm from all directions of the welding point. Move to the next slide. Here we will discuss about the welding inspector duties during welding. Weather conditions. Welding must be protected from weather conditions that would impair the quality of the completed weld. Ensure weather conditions are suitable with code means condition will not affect welding. When welding is in the open air and it is important to be protected from all kinds of weather such as rain, breeze, sun, etc. Working conditions are noticeably improved if welding tent or welding umbrella is used. As I told you in previous slide about welder qualification, during welding, welding inspector should also check welder qualification card is valid and up to date. Welding process Welding process should be in according to WPS. In picture you can see SMEW process is mentioned on WPS. If you are working according to this WPS, then welding process should be SMEW. 
preheat temperature or interpass temperature. Minimum preheat temperature and maximum interpass temperature should be according to WPS which is specified on WPS. You can see this example image preheat and enter pass temperature is mentioned according to this WPS if, if we work then these ranges of preheat and enter pass should maintain during welding. Preheat temperature shall be checked by use of temperature indicating crayons, thermocouple pyrometers or other suitable means to ensure that the temperature specified the WPS is obtained prior to and maintained during welding. Welding consumable. As I told you in previous slide, for welding consumables, inspection before welding. Same method will apply during welding. Welding consumable to be used are as specified in WPS. If you are using low hydrogen electrode, then those low hydrogen electrodes should be controlled or stored as specified in WPS. This image is a crop part of WPS, and you can see two different types of electrodes are being used for this WPS. In root pass, you will use E6010 and E7010 will use for the rest of the process. For example, if you are working according to this WPS, make sure welder use 6010 electrode for root pass and E7010 are being used for hot filling and capping. Welding parameters. Welding parameter means current, voltage and travel speed should be according to WPS. In this image you can see current for every pass. According to this WPS, current for root pass should be within 72 to 93 ampere and 126 to 146 ampere for hot pass, 123 to 130 ampere for filling and 81 to 106 ampere for capping. Column for voltage. Voltage for root pass should maintain within 24 to 31 volts for root, 24 to 27 volts for hot pass, 24 to 29 for filling pass and 24 to 31 for capping. And this is a column for travel speed for every pass. Internal cleaning should be in accordance with an improved method to good workmanship standard. Welding is balanced and over welding is avoided. Improper cleaning can lead to solid inclusion. Here we will discuss about duties of welding inspector. After welding, weld identification. Each weld should mark with welder ID. In this picture, you can see every pass of weld is marked with welder ID. It is a WPS number. The root part is done by ID 1007 and 1180, and hot pass is done by welder ID 1151 and 1374, and capping is done by 1110 and 1192. And also, write of weld completion date and welding inspector sign also and this weld identification of every weld is a duty of welding inspector. Visual inspection to be carried out to a certain susceptibility of, of appearance of weld and suitable for entity testing. Dimension survey. Check dimension are according to WPS or not. Ensure any modification are included on a build drawing. Entity. Ensure all entity is performed according to project specification. If 10% is mentioned in project then perform NDT on one joint out of 10 and if 100% is mentioned then perform NDT on all joints. Ensure NDT reports are available for records. Repair. Repair. A weld defect to be repaired shall be removed to sound weld metal. Repair weld shall be made using a qualified welding procedure. Repair weld shall be made by qualified welder or welding operator. Preheating and heat treatment shall be as required for the original welding. Post weld heat treatment. The post weld heat treatment to be used after production welding shall be specified in the WPS and shall be used in qualifying the welding procedure. Heating and cooling method will be mentioned in WPS. Heating and cooling rate per hour according to thickness will also specify on WPS. Pressure load test. To check pressure gauges are calibrated which are being used for hydro test and pneumatic test. Ensure test is being performed according to procedure and ensure all records are available. First lecture has ended here. I hope you have a great understanding of the requirements of welding inspectors before, during and after welding. And in the next module we will discuss about term and definitions of related welding.